Your new book, Return Migrants. Yes. What is that about? It's about, um, it's a critique of the celebratory story of, of return migration and of uh, or the idea in policy that everything, as, as soon as you come to Europe, you learn a lot of useful skills and new values and and uh, you have a lot of good experiences uh, which are able, you can just transfer them to, to, to the reality in different African countries. So we, we compare these celebratory stories in, in development policy on return migration with the reality that these returnees actually encounter when they return home. So, so I would say that one thread that goes through all our chapters is the need for, for, uh, for social capital in, on, on, on the, the migrants, that the migrants do not always have enough social capital for, for uh, in the country of return. And also their skills, if they have learned something new in, in, in Europe, if, because not all of them do, uh, it's not always useful in the country of return. How do you mean? Because? Because it's not a totally not a different context. Um, and uh, those who succeed, they have often been uh, traveling back and forth for a long period of time. I mean, those who who leave in our way for 20 or 30 years and then just come back and try to start up, some, start up something, they often encounter great problems. because Also because there's been tremendous changes in many of these countries um, and, and which they might not have followed that closely. And it's not, it's not to say that, it's, it's that Britannies can't do anything. There are individuals who have succeeded, but the idea that um, Returnees should be able to overcome structural problems in, 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 in countries of, of return. Uh, that's of course not, not uh, true or in line with reality. Just because you have been in Europe, it doesn't mean that if you return to a place where, where there is little security or corruption or, or uh, lack of basic infrastructure, uh, you can't overcome that as an individual returnee. And yes, and, and I also wanted to add that this celebratory story on returnees, it has to do both with the fact that development cooperation has not always been successful. So policymakers are searching for new, kind of new solutions. And then they believe that now, oh, the, the returnees, they should be the new developers. They should be the people who develop Africa, so to say. So that's one reason. Another reason, of course, has to do with growing um, anti-migrant sentiments and uh, xenophobia in, in Europe that many policymakers want the migrants to return because it's an easy way of getting rid. They want to get rid of these migrants and then to promote the return and to promote the, the migrants as new developers is, 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 is one way of... of um, um, of diminishing, so to say, the, the, uh, the migrants. I mean, the, the problem is, of course, the bad integration and the discrimination. I mean, what you can do if you want to promote good returns, and if you want to, to, to support migrants as developers, then what you have to do is to see to that people can get an education, they can get a job, that they are accepted on the labor market I mean you can't and these two fields of policy are, are often treated as two totally disparate fields of policy development is one thing and, and integration is another thing and that's why it's possible to have a discourse on returnees as people with fantastic knowledge and skills on one hand whereas you under, and have this other discourse on, 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 on African migrants as, as failures and as, as um, uneducated and as, I mean, all this, this lack of integration discourse on the other hand.